in yellow and black. 22 points to 14, the scores. Steve Schofield looking for his second win of the evening. He goes into lead position. Eric Monaghan in second place. Won his opening race as well. Third place held by Chris Cobby at the moment. And Chris looks to have got problems. Michael Warren goes past him. Chris Cobby looks to be retiring. Steve Schofield in the lead ahead of Eric Monaghan. They enter the last lap. Michael Warren in third place still. As Steve Schofield comes round the turn to take the chequered flag. Three points to Steve, two points to Eric Monaghan, one point to, Chris, uh, to Michael Warren, and that extends the lead by another two points for the Kestrels. We come to the halfway stage in this National League match. Heat number eight of the 16 heats. Gary Tagg in red and Dave Hamnett in blue. Mark Carlson riding in white. And tactical substitute in place of Mark Pierce in yellow and black is Louis Carr. Twenty-six points to sixteen. The Castrol flees. And as they go onto the back straight, it's side by side. Louis Carr and Gary Tagg. Carr moves to the outside as Tag moves onto the inside line. Gary Tag takes up lead position ahead of Louis Carr. Mark Carlson in third place ahead of Dave Hamnett. And some superb riding this by Gary Tag. Against a rider who normally goes well round the Hackney circuit. A 9.02 calculated match average. And two second places so far this evening for Louis Carr. He must have been looking for a win in this one. But Gary Tagg has denied him. Three points to Gary. Two points to the tactical sub Louis Carr. One to Mark, to Mark Carlson. So a three all making the points, 29 points to 19 in favour of Hackney. We come to heat number nine and once again a tactical substitute in yellow and black in place of Richard Davidson is Eric Monaghan. He's partnered by Nigel Crabtree and the Hackney pairings, Tim Corneliuson in red and Paul Whittaker in blue. So, a very strong pairing from the Soap Potters. Tries to grab a few points back. Nigel Crabtree in white and Eric Monaghan in yellow and black. Tim Cornelius and looking for a way past Eric Monaghan. Paul Whittaker, surprisingly, at the back at the moment. The Stoke pairing in a 5-1 race advantage. As we go into the last lap, it's still Nigel Crabtree, the leader, Eric Monaghan in second. Tim Cornelius in third, and Paul Whittaker in fourth place. They come round for the chequered flag. That's the way they're going to finish. A 5-1 to the Stoke 
Abacus Windows Potters. And the fine race win there by Nigel Crabtree. We come to heat number 10 with Andy Galvin on the outside line in red. Gary Tagg in blue. Chris Cobby in white. And Eric Monaghan, his second ride on the trot in yellow and black. Gary Tagg stalling his machine on the line, gets it going. And so the rider is about to come up to the line. <laughs> 30 points. The Hackney HL1 Kestrels have 24. The Stoke Abacus Windows Potters. Andy Galvin goes into the lead, followed by Gary Tagg. Eric Monaghan in third, Chris Cobby at the back. And the battle on for second and third places. Gary Tagg under pressure from Eric Monaghan. Gary riding superbly, been improving all evening tonight. Andy Galvin the leader, Gary Tagg in second place, Eric Monaghan third, Chris Cobby tailed off in fourth place at the moment. And as they go down the back straight for the final time in heat 10, another three points coming the way of Andy Galvin, two points for Gary Tagg, one point for Eric Monaghan, a 5-1 in favour of the Kestrels, and that makes it 35 points to 25 points, a 10-point lead for the Kestrels. The riders come to the line for heat number 11, Steve Schofield in red, Dave Hamnett in blue, Louis Carr in white, and Mark Carlson in yellow and black. And both Mark Carlson and Dave Hamnett looking for a few points. Dave, from his two rides so far, failed to score, having had a certain amount of mechanical trouble. Mark Carlson, having scored just one point, paid two from his three rides. Steve Schofield two wins from his two rides and Louis Carr three second places so this race looks like developing into two match races Steve Schofield and Louis Carr side by side on grid two and three Dave Hamnett gets a much better start this time and he's right on the back wheel of Louis Carr as they go down the back straight Mark Carlson now moves through into third position. And as expected, the race developing into two match races. Steve Schofield, the leader, ahead of Louis Carr. The battle for the lead going on to the back straight. The battle for third place being led by Mark Carlson over Dave Hamnett. Steve Schofield, the leader, ahead of Louis Carr. Mark Carlson in third. As they come round for the checker flag, three points to Steve Schofield, two to Louis Carr, one to Mark Carlson, a three all, and that keeps the difference at 10 points, 38 to 28, in favour of the HL1 Kestrels. We come to heat number 12 with Andy Galvin in red, partnered by Paul Whittaker in blue.
for the Potters. Nigel Crabtree in white and a rather surprising tactical substitute in yellow and black in place of Chris Cobby, their number seven, Mark Pierce. The Kestrels high flying into the lead. Andy Galvin on the inside, Paul Whitaker on the outside. Third place held by Nigel Crabtree, ahead of Mark Pierce. They come round once again, with Paul Whitaker the leader. Andy Galvin in second place, shadowing his teammate. Nigel Crabtree in third. Still trying to work out just how he's going to get on terms with the HL1 Kestrel pairing. Paul Whitaker and Andy Galvin leading into the final turn. So they come out of the turn. It's Galvin who takes the three points. Whitaker is second, Nigel Crabtree third. Mark Pierce four for 5-1 in favour of the Kestrels. And that now means that the gap is lengthened to 14 points. Heat number 13, Steve Schofield in red, partnered by Tim Corneliuson in blue. For the Abacus Windows Potters, Louis Carr in white, Eric Monaghan in yellow and black. Two riders on the inside line deciding that... Uh, they both want the other one to be first to the tapes. Then get sorted out. Louis Carr in white. And Cornelison in blue. And those two get a bit of a flyer in actual fact. The tapes didn't go up too straight that time. Steve Schofield comes through from the back. And it's Schofield who takes up the lead. Louis Carr in second. Eric Monaghan in third position. Tim Corneliuson. Another tough race for Tim. And Tim left at the back at the moment. Steve Schofield, the leader. Second place still held by Louis Carr. Third place, Eric Monaghan. leaders come round the final turn. It's Steve Schofield who takes the chequered flag ahead of the Stoke pairing of Louis Carr in second, Eric Monaghan third. A three-all keeping the gap to 46 points to the Kestrels, 32 to the Potters. Heat number 14 and the team manager Steve Sant once again for the Potters, putting in a tactical substitute in yellow and black. This time in place of Richard Davidson, it's Nigel Crabtree. He's partnered by Mark Carlson in white. And for the HL1 Kestrels, Gary Tagg in red and Michael Warren in blue. Heat number 14, 46 points to 32, the Kestrels lead. The Potters still fighting. Nigel Crabtree in the lead, ahead of Gary Tagg. And Gary Tagg has managed to pull out a few miracles tonight. Can he manage one in this race? Mark Carlson in third place, ahead of Michael Warren. Nigel Crabtree still leading. Gary Tagg in second, Mark Carlson third. <laughs> 